Mr. John, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Uh, so it's been great having you at the BACD here today, and I think so far it, you're killing it. It's brilliant. Everyone's loving it. I love your language, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what I wanted to ask was, um, John, what's your key message today to the British dentist? Uh, I think uh, what I've tried to do, especially with occlusion and many other topics, is not to come here and be an expert regurgitator, but try to be a game changer. And, you know, when people hear things that are different, there's always a uh, uh, skepticism that is accompanying things that are different but hopefully if we present uh, enough science they get to the next level which is quizzical that makes sense to them and they start asking questions I hope by the end of today we'll get to a level of acceptance where they begin to say you know what maybe maybe this makes sense and I like to use the expression good questions inform, but great questions transform. I love but, that quote. But I'll add one more thing. The problem with where I'll get to by the end of today, acceptance, is typically not enough. Because there's another level called commitment. Unless you have ownership to what this is about, it really won't change the way you practice. So rather than the day being trans transactional, I would prefer it become transformative. And to transform your life takes more effort and more study. And I think this is the first step. We have people already passionate about what they're doing or they wouldn't be here. All the townies, so to speak, they're constantly uh, online and working through that whole network. And so they're already the right people. That's great. Um, I wanted to ask, um, what's the message you have for the future generations of dentists coming through? I think it's a really, really interesting question that's always more challenging to answer with how fast things are changing. Uh, the one advantage I have is I, uh, my teaching is also part of a family business. My son is also a prosthodontist and uh, does a lot of the implants in the practice and my daughter-in-law is a, a general dentist and so I have a pulse on maybe some of the younger people and especially at the center uh, we have so many uh, younger people, people that are out of dental school only a year or two. In fact I have one dental student that will finish the program before she finishes dental school. Wow. That's a first. That's a uh, But the, the point is I, I think we have a younger generation really hungry for understanding uh, what they're doing. Well, they're realizing the commitment that they're making. And by understanding and knowing the why, I think the joy of dentistry will become m more important. So if you said to me, what, what's the future? What's the trend? I think, first of all, understanding technology-based decision-making, that's an important piece of the future. And it's still going to take three things to be sustainable as a dentist, no matter what age you are. One is risk assessment and understanding different patients. That's treatment planning. Second is knowing how to put the teeth in the face. That's a facially generated uh, treatment planning. And the third is occlusion, how they fit together. If you could do those three things, the rest are fragments that all fit together within the big scope of things. That's the big scope and that's why we focused on a curriculum for learning uh, where it's a, in essence a graduate program for practicing dentists, not individual fragmented courses. And that's been the structure of how the system works. But I think the future is still bright. I think there's uh, certainly challenges with uh, some of the financial components and the debt service and all the other things, but those things are revolving. They, they're continuous. When I finished dental school, interest rates were 19%. Uh, my first year in practice, I did my own lab work, taught at the university. My adjusted gross income was zero. So I, I think there's hope uh, if, as long as you can see the future. and and I think that's still bright. I think one of the key messages I got from this morning as well, you know, with the 3D, the scanning and the future technologies and stuff, 
the most important thing that you still need is a fully adjustable brain. Yes, very good, absolutely. So we've gone to the future, so one final question. Um, so if you could travel back in time, what would you, and met your own student self, what would you say to him? So let's go back to the past. Uh, it, I love the question. I think, you know, judging from my own experiences, uh, I, I can tell you, uh, most importantly, what has driven me to where I am today is a work ethic. That is, without anything else, you don't get to where you are going without working hard. Uh, uh, certainly, as you pointed out in the beginning, knowing it's not just about the journey, it's about a destination. You have to be focused on where you want to go or you're never going to get there. And I will say something that is a little bit not related to dentistry, but I think also important to reduce the pressure of dentistry. And that's very early in the career to make sure you hire good financial consulting people. I think to get to a point of retirement and truly be economically free and not have to be so stressed about uh, the money part when maybe the work options are not the same as we get older, uh, that's what was really important to me as a younger self because as a younger self uh, I was in survival mode. Basically if you breathe I treated you and it was a problem. It gets to be very uh, debilitating when you're trying to do too much and just trying to survive and trying to break free of that. I would say work with uh, people that could be your mentor. Work with people that have lived through what you're about to live through so they can share their experiences and help you. Uh, I think that's a, a true testament to uh, people like yourself and people like what this academy is about is to provide help and guidance for those that really want it. My recommendation to my younger self is take that advice. John, thank you so much and we're so glad you came to London. Thanks. Thank Thanks. Great. Thank you.